Yo, what up, everybody? Cardboard and Mozis with you. Welcome. Uh, it's time to get busy. 2018 Donors football busy. Six boxes, number nine. Let's get it popping. Locking and dropping. What up, Skeeter? All right, let's uh, let's do the damn thing. I hope you got your popcorn or you know whatever your your, your snack of choices because we're gonna be here a while. How you doing today, Skeeter? Terry, J Wag, Freak, Fabrice. All right, this is tight. Get that off. Is there football going on today? Or is that tomorrow? Preseason football. Beer and roast in the cooker. So do you have the skins and the jets in this break, J-Wag? Or is that who's playing tonight? Terry says there's some games. Well, listen, it's better than none, man. I'm Jones in for some foosball. Ah, uh, the Dolphins play on Friday. We play Friday against the Panthers. Oh, the skins and the Jets on ESPN. Word. What time is that going down? Football is back, baby. Well, almost. Eagles and Patriots play tonight. Oh, snap. Little uh, Super Bowl rematch. Yep, there's Jets Redskins at 8 and Steelers Packers at 8. There's some good games tonight. I don't know about the Jets Redskins, but uh, the other two games are interesting. Steelers Packers, Eagles Patriots. This preseason is not shown here, so no football in France tonight. Well, Fabrice, have you heard of this thing called the Internet? You're on it right now. Technically, kind of, sort of. So, uh, Uncle Jesse could show you the ways. I can internet pretty good. There is nothing I cannot find on the internet. J-Wag is a Skins fan. Well, what is it that y'all say? All hail the, the Mighty Redskins or something like that? So, J-Wag, uh, is Darius guys really out for the year? Because I've, I've been hearing uh, your first round pick is out for the season. Tore his ACL or something like that. Dez might be signing with the Browns, bro. The Browns, I don't know. I don't know. They're interesting. I, I feel like they're going to go as far as their coach takes them. And Hugh Jackson is uh, garbage. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Well, I see an autograph already. I'll tell you that. It's a good one. So Darius guys out for the season, man, that sucks. Uh, dude, there's been a lot of, uh, well, I feel like a lot of rookies have been getting injured in the preseason. Jalen Ramsey of the Jaguars press proof. Check out this autograph. Tony Romo. All Pro Kings. Sneaky three-color patch on that. Number three out of ten. Kept the entire autograph on the sticker. What a pro. That's nice. There's some nice stuff in this stuff. Let me tell you. A after you go through all the base, you, you will find some nice stuff. Is Penny out for the year, though, is my question. Terrell Suggs, Press Proof Ravens. Well, that dude is trying to blow his mortar. Get 
that out the way. We have Kawan Short to 99 Panthers. You feel me, Skeeter? I don't, dude. I don't like. I don't. I. I am not a fan of Hugh Jackson, especially the way he got his job in the first place. The only reason he got a job is because he snitched on his old coach. Like, already right there, dog. You ain't got no brownie points. Speaking of the Browns, one of the best receivers when he actually plays. Three out of ten, Josh Gordon. Decent little two-color patch on that. But yeah, I, dude, if they got rid of uh, Hugh Jackson, and maybe you know, I think even like their their offensive coordinator Todd Haley would probably be a better fit than Hugh Jackson. Man, I, I don't know. He just comes across as fake to me. Uh, to 25, Ben Roethlisberger die cut for the Steelers. Oh, three games. Broke three fingers. Speaking of broken fingers, our number one receiver, Devontae Parker, broke his uh, broke a finger of his. Which is common with receivers. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Torrey Holt's hands. Those things look like uh, like he's throwing up gang signs the entire time. Who's the best coach in Cleveland, Hugh Jackson or Tyron Lue? Tyron Lue, because Tyron Lue is smart enough to let LeBron coach the team. Hugh Jackson actually thinks he can coach. At least Tyron Lue is like, all right, you know what? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to he sit here with my suit, pretend like I know what I'm doing, and let LeBron do what he do. Chris Carter, the aqueous test uh, variation for the Vikings. What up, Hiller? Hiller in the house. What up? Is Tyron Lue still the coach of Cleveland? Do they still have a basketball team? Corlin Sutton, a 100 Broncos. This is kind of bothering me, so I'm going to slide to the right. It's slightly better for me. All righty. How many? Oh, I'm only on the first box. Okay. Is anybody watching Hard Knocks? You can you can watch the episodes on YouTube. Full episodes on YouTube, uncensored and all. Uh, Adam Thielen, the 100 Vikings, dude. If I did comic book breaks, that'd be that'd be kind of interesting, Hiller. I don't know if I told you, but I used to collect like comic book cards when I was when I was little. I used to collect uh, Marvel and DC uh, comic book cards. It's uh, actually a really funny story that I uh, will get into at some other time. George Kittle to four hundred Niners. Dude, he's won one game in his last two seasons. In 32 games, he's won one game. Like, I don't understand what they're doing in Cleveland. Like, oh, yeah, you know, third time's the charm. Maybe he'll win two games this year. My thing is, like, I don't know, man. They're, they're just, they have become accustomed to be, to just be terrible. Interesting, Hiller. Interesting. Maybe at some point that, that could be something we could do. Would have to uh, discuss with the partner, the cardboard Jesus. On to box number two. Dude, I think they're going to fire Hugh Jackson before the season even starts. Worst coach that lose and lose or the man who keeps that coach? Ooh, Fabrice. I would say the GM is to blame on that one, bro. The general manager is usually the one in charge of personnel. 
if I'm not mistaken. So why you would keep a coach that went 1-31 in two seasons is beyond me. The man has no experience as a head coach. But yet, you trust them to change the culture in Cleveland of all places. Yeah, that's not going to work. They have, dude, they have so much talent, too, in Cleveland. Like, they have talent all across the board. They just need somebody to, like... You know what I mean? They need a captain to that shit. You know, there, there's too many Chiefs, not enough Indians. Ah, Skeeter, you're a Steelers fan. Dude, I got to tell you, man. Steelers are going to be in, in for a rude awakening this season, bro. Unless you guys can get get something on defense, because after Shazier went down last year, Steelers had a terrible defense. They couldn't stop anything. Luckily for them, you know, they couldn't stop the offense of the Steelers. So I don't know, man. I I, I really think that uh, that the Browns could win that division. I I really do. I don't think the Steelers got better this off season, at least on defense. They need somebody to replace Shazier. That guy's a beast. When he went down, the Steelers' defense went down with him. Texans look interesting this year. A lot of a lot of teams look interesting, man. What up, Richard? Lane Vander H, press proof for the Cowboys. Dude, I'm th I think the Browns can make some noise, man. I really do. We have Eli Manning, press proof for the Giants. Yeah, I read that too, Fabrice, that uh, Baker Mayfield is going to be the third string quarterback. Of the Browns, I mean, I would I wouldn't read too much into that honestly, because I I don't think they're gonna play him this year, unless the season's a wash. Then you know he'll play a few games towards the end of the season. Um, but I think they got him on that Aaron Rodgers program. You feel me? Luke Keekley to 150 patch for the Panthers. Now I'm not saying that Tyrod Taylor's freaking you know Brett Favre, but. You know, just, just sit back and just watch the game and learn from the sidelines. He will he will be huge, big time. Baker Mayfield is a stud. To 50, Tyrell Williams, Chargers. He's coming back from injury. He was out his whole rookie year. A lot of players coming back from injury last year. J.J. Watt, I wonder what he's going to look like. Dolphins are getting their first round pick, Raquan McMillan. Interesting. Should be interesting. Chris Carter to 100 Vikings. Yeah, I, I agree, Fabrice. I agree. But still, man, just, just watching the game from the sideline, he, he will he will improve. I'm telling you. Jamon Moore to 499. Autograph for the Packers. There you go, Richard. I mean, listen, you deserve nice things. What can I say? Dude, I don't, I've never played PPR as far as fantasy football is concerned. That's that's it's a lot of it's a lot of numbers. I don't do well with numbers. Well, I do. I'm just lazy. Von Miller insert there for the Broncos. P.J. Hall to 32, I'm sorry, to 92 for the Raiders. What is this?
Got Matthew Stafford, press proof for the Lions. Fabrice, I, I can understand why. The man wanted a paycheck, yo. And the Dolphins weren't going to pay him. As much as I love Jarvis Landry, and I love Jarvis Landry, I can see why we let him go. Just off the two, like the first two episodes of Hard Knocks, I can see why we let him go. He's he's a great player, but in the locker room, I can see how he could be toxic. I mean, he can he can he can probably get away with it in Cleveland because I mean, pfft, what has Cleveland done? Not saying that Miami has done anything, but. I don't know. That's an interesting situation. The man got paid. The man got paid. That's what he wanted. He wanted a payday. I ain't mad at him. Eric buried a 77 for the Chiefs. Uh, if you end up in my league, Jimbo, you're going to lose. You are going to lose. The only reason I did not win last year's fantasy football was because I did a 20-team draft. So once Aaron Rodgers was gone for me, my season was done. That ain't gonna happen this year. Promise you that. Y'all gonna give me break credit. Well, Jimbo, to be honest with you, I don't know. I don't know. Yes, I'm drafting Nathan Peterman in the in the five picks he's gonna give me. Game in and game out. I'm not going to tell you who I'm going to draft. Come on now. I don't even know what pick I'm going to have. Well, of course you can trade. Well, Fabrice, dude, ch go, go to YouTube, man. Go to YouTube and just type in Hard Knocks Browns Episode 2. And it'll be like the, the first or the second uh, thing there. For Breeze, you got to learn how to internet, my man. You got to learn how to internet. Have you heard of Google? Have, have, you, have you learned the, the gospel of the uh, Google? The almighty Google? What up, G-Man? You've never done what? You've never been in fantasy football, Jimbo? Really? They deprive you like that in Australia? Down under? Well, Richard, I mean, you could do that. You could do that. I remember one year I was torn because I drafted Brady and Gronkowski. And as a Dolphin fan, that that really had me torn. That's why I quit playing the first time. Like that really like really messed me up. Cause I had it was a money league too. It was a money league. I had put down like a hundred dollars or something like that. And I was just so torn. Every time the Patriots... And of course I'm going to start Brady and Gronkowski against the Dolphins. But I'm going to start them against anybody. So, like, I would be torn. You know, because... Uh, I know the Dolphins are going to lose, but damn it. I want them to win. But I want Brady and Gronkowski to get their numbers, too. So, point... I, I won that year. Which is awesome. But... It left us. It left a bad taste in my mouth. That 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 Patriots led me to victory. But it's all about winning. This is very true. It's all about that W. How many players on a roster? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you get you could pick like two or three quarterbacks. You could pick like three or four running backs, three or four wide receivers. You could draft two kickers. You could have two defenses. If I'm not mistaken. Jimbo, fantasy football is not a thing. Oh, boy. Listen, when we get stuff figured out here, we're going to have ourselves a little draft party, which is kind of what we did last year. Uh, I did the live draft on the stream. We, we, you know, we set a time. 
I came in and we we straight drafted, yo. We were drafting. And then, and then some of you guys kind of cheated because we you guys filled a break, and then I had to break it, and I had to draft at the same time, which was not cool. Cam Newton press proof for the Panthers. That's another thing I will not allow this year. When we draft them, we draft them. I had, I had like set auto picks too, which kind of kind of hurt me. Jalen Ramsey to seventy five Jaguars. Well, Jimbo, that's the thing. You can set up like a, you can you can have the computer draft for you, or you could set like a order of what you want from most to least or whatever. And then if the player's available, you know the computer will draft it for you. Walter Jones press proof for the Seahawks. Oh, I forgot about the tight end. Yeah, the tight end. You can like get two of those. What do we have here? We got a little sizzle, a little T sizzle. Terrell Suggs to 125. Pizatch for the Ravens. Well, yeah, Jimbo, it's it's it's. Last year we did on on the ESPN website. Not sure what we're gonna do this year, but. There's Yahoo. Yahoo does it as well. Like I said, ESPN. I'm sure there's other folks that do it too. Like I think Fox Sports Network has their own like draft as well. Like fantasy football deal. Xavier Rhodes to 56 Vikings. Darius Fountain, the autograph to 499. Man, that dude's got to work on his auto. All right, Fabrice, have a good one, my man. Thank you for hanging out. So fantasy football is an American thing. Huh. Interesting. We have Vernon, uh, Vernon Davis to 100 Redskins. We have to 100 Terry Bradshaw Steelers. Well, Jimbo, I mean, last year I think we did it like on a Sunday or something, or like a Saturday. I mean, we can we can figure out a time and just get it done. But uh, I'll tell you right now, I don't think we're going to be doing that fantasy stuff anytime soon. Mainly because we got, you know, real stuff to do here. But other than that, like, you know, it doesn't really make sense doing a draft this early. People could still get hurt, et cetera, et cetera. I, you know, the best time for me would be, like, either after week three of the preseason or, like, right before week one of the regular season. Derrick Henry die cut to 25 for the Titans. Well, I mean, before you realize it, football is going to be here, dog. Like, in three weeks, I think the regular season starts. College football is right around the corner. Yeah, dude, the new that new gambling law is a game changer. That is going to be a game changer. I should I should have invested in DraftKings because I bet their stock is going to go sky high. 
see Brandon already drafted guys and he's out for the year. See? That's see? I don't understand why you would do a fantasy football draft when like we're still like a month away from the regular season. People could still get hurt. People could get cut, traded, blah blah blah. I mean that's that's gonna happen in the regular season too. But to me it just it does not make sense to draft this early. Like that is just cray. What it do, Alan? How are you, my my man? My dude? My youth? My uh, brother from another mother? Shall I keep on going? Well, Jay Wag, he's in Australia. They have different rules in Australia. You know, anything anything and everything is trying to kill you in Australia, so the the least they can do is let you bet on anything and everything. Dude, they got koalas out there with a thirst for blood. They call them drop bears. Alan sitting in the parking lot with the while the wife gets her nails did. There you go, Alan. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, dude, your wife, the wife is going to be in that salon for a hot minute. You know what you should do? You should go in that salon and tell the ladies to put me on. Put me on on the TV. That'll be a good time. This is box four over here. All right, we got Thomas Davis to 58 Panthers. Let me put this over here then. Running a little low. It's at the Walmart. Then did some shopping, bubble mailers, and still sitting there for jeez, man. Yeah, that's yeah, uh, dude. I've been I haven't been in a relationship in like years, and that's probably why. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Fletcher Cox, press proof for the Eagles. I'd be all like, baby, go ahead and get your nails done. I'm a, I'm gonna chill at the crib. Talking with, with, with my boys. Hanging out with the Cardboard Jesus and them. You always leave me for Cardboard Jesus and Cardboard Moses. Hmm. And then she wants to get divorced. And, you know, just... No, thank you. Harrison Smith. Vikings press group. They go freak of nature. While you're at it, pick up another team. And I'll tell I'll tell you what. I'll tell you I don't think CBJ, did you send an email out today? No. That's what I yeah. Okay, so check it. We're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna call it because I can do that. I'm gonna extend the daily giveaway until ten o'clock. And if you buy into any football break, you get double spots. Boom. Fill breaks. Let's go. Fran Tarkenton, Vikings to 100. So if you buy into unparalleled football or Donruss football, you're going to get double spots in tonight's $100 giveaway. But the only way to get into it is to buy in the store. Sorry, eBay giveaways do not apply to eBay breaks. Only for breaks uh, bought 
on our website, ripcitycards.com. New customers save 15 bucks as always. All you have to do is register for an account on our site. You can't use that code for the eBay breaks, but it does save you $15 on your first website purchase. It does require a minimum purchase of 25 bucks, but hey, you save 15. That's not bad. Uh, to 400, Giovanni Bernard, Bengals. Not to mention, you get entered into our giveaways. We have a daily giveaway, a weekly giveaway, which, by the way, I'm almost caught up on. Oh, that's nice. Jordan Howard to 49, Ground Force Auto. That's pretty sweet. Well, Freak, like I said, I have extended the giveaway until 10 o'clock. Double spots if you buy into a football break. So, uh, max out those credit cards. Take the wife's purse and get your credit card back. That's your money. And go, go ahead and accrue that debt. The, it's the American way. It's the American way. We have uh, Kelichi Osemeli to 160 Raiders. Into, in what, Alan? In what? There. Sammy D, Sammy Darnold, insert for the Jets. Wow. Kind of, sort of, almost done. I mean, I got two boxes left. I've been going through this kind of quickly. Deron Payne, Redskins, press proof. We get an insert there from McCaffrey Panthers. Nice one, Allen. Eli to 150 for the Giants. I'm sorry, to 50. Number to 50 for the Giants. Fantasy football is too hard? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Fantasy football is not hard at all. Uh, do, you, do you have a working pair of eyeballs? Can you, can you do, like, read? How good are you with numbers? If you're halfway decent at any of that, fantasy football is not hard at all. You just got to know who the ballers are. That's all. And you got to look at the matchups. You got to pay attention to bye weeks. And, you know, be on top of that waiver wire, too. Fantasy football is not hard at all. It's like with anything, though. You just got to do your research. Just got to do your research is all. What the hell is a waiver wire? Huh? Ah. All right. So the waiver wire, it's like in regular football. You know how, you, how teams can pick up free agents? It's the same in fantasy football. You know, whatever player doesn't belong to a team, you can pick them up in the waiver wire. Uh, the, the order of the waiver wire is, is dependent, I believe, on your record. The If, if you have a terrible record, you're probably going to have the first pick in the waiver wire. You'll have first dibs. So I, I believe that's how that works. So you're, you're able to, like, you know, usually some players... Uh, yeah, Floor Punch. Uh, not sure if you know, man, but we recently lost a couple of employees. So we've been, uh, we've been a little overwhelmed. But we're catching up. We're catching up. 
Uh, Jimbo, uh, as far as the waiver wire, I think I think that's available as soon as week one. I think. But yeah, dude, you just you get to pick up. It's it's free agency basically. And depending on where you're at in the waiver wire, you'll you know you'll be able to pick up a player or not. Well, four punch. It's it's not good that you know we're behind, but we are working ridiculously hard to get everything caught up. Well, Ross, I mean, listen, I, I've been nothing but but uh, what you call it positive about the Browns. The only thing that I have to say is Hugh Jackson is a terrible coach. And Ross, I think you would agree. Fletcher Cox. Huh. Die cut to 75 for the Eagles. Hugh Jackson is a terrible coach. The Browns will be way better without him. Like, way better. I'm telling you, dude, they have way too much talent out there in Cleveland. Way too much. Like, all across. Exactly. Like, he just comes across as fake, man. Like, you could, you could tell that the players don't respect him. Like, you could just tell. You know, they, they, they really need to just fire him and put Todd Haley as the interim coach or something. Because at, at least Todd Haley's been a, a head coach before. You know, Hugh Jackson, he's a head coach because he snitched on the last head coach. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Jordan Lasley, Ravens uh, press proof rookie. Yeah, Haley knows he's going to be the coach at some point in the season. I'm sorry to interrupt. Can I ask you some real fans? What up, dog? How do you feel about Hugh Jackson? Ah, Hugh Jackson. Man, I don't like that guy. Okay, don't like that guy. Terrell Davis. I like that guy. It's a 99 for the Broncos patch. Yeah, dude. Todd, oh, God. Hugh Jackson. I know, I know. It's fair weather fan over here. I, I like Hugh Jackson. I don't like Hugh Jackson. I do like this uh, Dick Butkus, though. <laughs> His name is Dick. You like the dick? I like the Dick. Dick Butkus to 100. Legends of the Fall right there. Usually not a fan, but but I you know that 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 dick yes. Oh dude Ross, uh, I'm dude I'm easily worked up over anything so. Don't uh, don't worry about old cardboard Moses. Darius Slay to twenty six lines. Uh yes Jimbo, if you go to ESPN, I think that's how we're doing the draft. I think we're going with ESPN. But yeah, e either way, regardless of what you what we decide, the rules are going to be on the website. I mean, come on. Deshaun Hamilton to 499, rookie autograph for the Broncos. Ah. Uh, all right. We're almost there. Tremaine Edmonds to 100 for the Bills, rookie. <laughs> How about a field trip to Bear Necessities? Oh, oh, oh. All right. Michael can't go, though. Michael can't go. That, 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 that boy is an angel. Whoa, well, Jimbo, I mean, with that with that attitude, that's exactly what's going to happen. Is that a little one of one? Hey. That's a nice sign of things to come. Here, let me get through this, and I'll show you, though. It's staring at me in the face. 
Yeah, dude, Jamon Moore is all over this stuff. Ryan Shazier, press proof for the Steelers. That's awesome. All right, check out the one of one. One of one die cut for Brandon Cooks of the Rams. There you go. A little one of one mojo right there. Very nice. Boom. A little uno de uno sauce for the Rams. Congrats. What else we got? Samahi Perrine. Yeah, he had a bunch of autos last year. Nothing there. Last box, Mojo. Let's see what we get. Almost done. Yep, scheme. It's it's my opinion and I'm sticking to it, man. I don't know. Classics 32 is next after this. Last box here. Jersey G Man Muley Girl. What's up over on Breakers? How are y'all? Let's get that unparalleled field in the store. Giving away three gold packs randomly. All you got to do is buy in and you can win. Not to mention, unparalleled is some nice stuff. And we're selling it for the low, low. Last box mojo. Let's see what we have. Good luck, everybody. Especially those without a hit. I like those old school Donruss design cards. The inserts in this are really nice, man. Do you get more points for rookies? It's all the same. There's different leagues, like there's PPR leagues, and I, I've never been in a PPR league. I don't know how they calculate their points, but I, I call it a standard league. In a standard league, like, for example, if you're a running back, every 10 yards rushing, you get like a point. If you score a touchdown, you get six points. If you're a quarterback, every 10 yards, I think you get a point or like half a point, something like that. But it, they, they explain it, like they have the breakdown you just got to do a little bit of reading, Jimbo. I know how much you hate that. MJ Stewart of the books. Rookie press proof. Like the defense starts out with 10 points. And then if they get an interception, they get a certain amount of points. If you score on them, they take away points. Like In PPR, you get a point for every reception made. Right receivers and running backs. Ah, Tyler. Classics is right after this one, my man. So you came just in time. 
Ian Thomas to 99 Panthers. As soon as this break is done, Tyler, Classics will be coming up. If it's learning, I am out. <laughs> Can't teach an old dog new tricks or something like that, right? Devontae Adams to 17 Packers. Ooh, Tyler, I got to tell you, man, I, I hate the Patriots. I I absolutely hate the Patriots. But we'll see what we can do for you. Corlin Sutton of the Broncos to 25, the autograph. Very nice. Uh, Ray, we have this break now. We got classics. We got one, two, three, four. We got five more breaks after this. Corlin Sutton of the Broncos to 25. Broncos did pretty well in this half. Or I should say in these uh, six boxes. <laughs> I, <laughs> I am over learning. <laughs> yeah, that's why I love Jarvis Landry. Ross, that, that dude is a fantasy football machine. Mark Ingram, Saints, press proof. Not Tyler says, I'm used to that. <laughs> no, we'll get you something nice, my dude. We'll get you something nice. All right, let's see what we got. Chandler Jones, press proof for the Cardinals. What is this? Greg Olson from the seventh floor crew. What y'all know about that? To 125 for the Panthers. G go on YouTube and look up seventh floor crew. Greg Olson is that dude. That's, that's how we do in Miami, yo. We win national championships and we drop rap records. The seventh floor crew. I'm trying to tell you. I wonder if we're going to bring back the turnover chain this year. Like that was the hottest thing in, in all of sports last year. I wonder what we're going to do this year. Are we going to do like the turnover, like turnover golds? Like gold grills? That, one, that won't be too sanitary now that I think about it. Bruce Irvin, the 75 Raiders. What if they did, like, uh, a turnover, like, go-kart or something? Like, whenever you got a turnover, you can hop on the go-kart that's sitting on, you know, some fat 30-inch rims. And you just do, just do, like, pop, you know, pop wheelies all around the, uh, the stadium. Or we could just stick to the turnover chain. That's fine, too. Villanueva to 160 for the Steelers. What up, Christine? Repping that tribe. Uh, if you pull a Browns card, do you have to pay Christine? What? How are you, Christine? You, you got me a little lost there with that last question of yours. What? what? My head hurts, and that's, well, that's an easy thing to do, but how, how can I help you? Brett Favre, that MVP to 100. These are cool-looking guards. And my friends, that's it for the break. All right, let's uh, hit you with a little recap. We got us a one-of-one one Brandon Cooks die cut for the Rams. That's pretty sweet. We got some relics here. Uh, Olsen Panthers 125, Davis Broncos 99, uh, Suggs Ravens 125, Keekly Panthers 150, Josh Gordon 3 out of 10 for the Browns. Our autos we have Corlin Sun of the Broncos at 25, 
Deshaun Hamilton of the Broncos to 499. We have Jordan Howard, Bears to 49. Darius Fountain of the Colts to 499. Oh, I already know, Christine. D did you miss my uh, spiel of Hugh Jackson earlier? Did you, did you catch it? J. Mo Moore of the Packers to 499. And probably the nicest hit. 3 out of 10, Tony Romo, All Pro Kings, Patch Auto. That's a nice card. He's a really good announcer. I, I like him as, as an announcer. And that's it for the break. Thank you very much. We'll get it out to you.